very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so as you can see today I'm going to use the scalping on the one minute time frame for the gold and this strategy actually works only on the gold not other pairs because we are gonna aim about uh, 10 to 15 pips only from each trade not 20 pips because as I said we are scalping the gold and we are just aiming few pips only from the gold because keeping the trade for a long time is actually dangerous so for those who are just new to the channel and uh, recently have uh, subscribed to extreme trader um, if you know if you wish to know what kind of a strategy I'm about to use in this video you can head to my videos uh, uh, my videos on my channel and as you can see right here there is this video I have posted seven months ago new forex strategy scalping gold on one minute candles um, Please watch this video. Watch this video first. It's gonna explain in brief what kind of a strategy I'm about to use right now, and you can follow it later by this video of the live trading session on scalping gold on the one-minute time frame as well. And you can also follow these two videos with that video right here, where I have also scalped the gold. Um, of course, first of all, I just wanted to say that I'm deeply apologize for the losses happened because of my gold signal this week it really failed miserably as you can see this is the signal and sadly the pair did not continue the growth as i expected and it just couldn't continue the fall um, exactly from the level where i said to buy anyway uh, I, i'm really sorry for the losses happened because of this signal and also the euro usd uh, is almost uh, hitting the stop loss or getting near to it uh, AUD USD signal has also failed meanwhile the pound USD is actually right now is on the break even, but it was in the profit of it was on almost 42 pips of profit. USD CAD uh, is also going in profit. It was in almost uh, 34 pips of profit. USD JPY also is going right now in almost 40 pips of profit. Uh, USD CHF is now ranging at the entry point. So again. Uh, please accept my apologize and I will do my best to recover the losses from the weekly analysis video So going back to the scalping on one minute time frame What we need actually my friends is to focus at is um, As I said before, I'm not going to uh, Explain the strategy again. Please watch this video first before you continue watching this live trading video in order to understand understand the strategy rules so what we are going to look for right now is the strong and major key support and resistance levels on the one hour uh, sorry on the one minute time frame so for example as we can see here we had a strong major key support level that support level has become a new resistance after the retest happened after the breakout from the support level now what I'm looking for next uh, is this support level right here we're having this uh, strong key support level which was also a resistance in the past and of course I'm waiting for the attempt number two resistance number two and after that I'm going to scalp the gold by buying it and keep the trade running for almost 10 pips no more however <clears throat> Of course, we need first to go to the four hour time frame to understand the general direction of the gold. And as uh, in my opinion, currently uh, what we can see here is we had a previous resistance level. That resistance is now becoming the new support. Uh, also, we can see right here what looks like a pin bar has already appeared on the four hour time frame. This one, of course, it's not a pin bar, but it looks like a pin bar. However, it, re it represents a pressure from the buyers and the, b the bulls are trying to actually take the market up. Therefore, it seems like we are going to see for today a continuation in the rising for the gold. So therefore, we go back to the one minute time frame. And it seems maybe I'm already late. However, I'm not gonna risk. I'm just I'm just gonna be sure to have the perfect entry. So I'm not gonna place any buy order until I see the candle fall more down to hit that support level. If the candle gonna continue the rise, then that is different story. Because if that happens, then I have to wait for the candle to actually break out from that resistance and not only that i have to see a major or strong bullish breakout candle from that resistance and wait for the candle to reverse again when that resistance right here becomes the new support so these are the two options we have uh, we either wait for the candle to hit that level of the support or wait the breakout 
and re uh, take another buy order once that resistance becomes the new support these are the only two options i have right now so we have to wait some time therefore um please allow me please to rec uh, pause the recording and i'll be back to you sh uh, later to show you once i open the next trade all right so now looking at the gold i have uh, some thoughts and i wanted to share it with you right now what we can see is that the gold is rising again as i said and it seems like it's going to continue to rise so what i'm thinking is we are having right here a previous resistance trend line as you can see here that resistance trend line has been recently broken out from by this bullish breakout candle and we can expect from the market to fall down a little bit more and then we can place another buy order once the candle actually retesting the broken support uh, resistance trend line and becomes a new support trend line now i have to mention something here this strategy is actually quite dangerous and frankly speaking i really hate posting this on youtube and i hate when the um the beginners gonna use their real account um, or live account when trading this strategy because in the beginning you will be surprised by how much it can actually blow your account um, let me say something here I'm using this strategy only to get few trades per day and honestly speaking bet between two to three trades and maybe four trades and that's it it's just good the uh, strategy to catch the uh, good opportunities for scalping the gold but frankly speaking and totally being honest with my followers and everyone if you're gonna use this strategy every single day you have no chances honestly speaking it's gonna be very difficult and it's gonna uh, if you want to do that it, then you have to be extremely patient and extremely careful about your funds because trading the gold on one minute candles is really uh, not advisable and of course if you are not careful enough you can end, end up blowing your account so please please be extra careful and i suggest that you spend no less than two months uh, on your demo account using this strategy just to get familiar with it and after that you can move to the live account so let's right now wait for the gold to retest the broken resistance trend line and let's see what, what will gonna happen and allow me please now to pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you once i open the trade so as i told you uh, the breakout has almost happened from that resistance level and right now the pair is uh, reversing so what you can see right here i i have actually uh, dragged this line here from that support there to the su to the support right here so actually what i'm waiting for to see the candle has actually closed as a breakout candle from that resistance level and if that happens i'm going to wait for the candle to fall down a little bit more to re yes look at it look at it now the breakout is happening from that resistance yes so i'm going to delete this line here it's not required anymore oh shit, not this one i meant here this one okay so this one here we can keep this line and right now what i'm going to do is wait for the candle or the price to fall a little bit more down yes a little bit more down to the same level of that support level and then i'm going to place the buy order exactly from that level so let's wait more some more time okay on the one minute candle it seems like it's still reversing but however i believe the bullish momentum is quite strong and yes i'm going to place the buy order at the same level of the support i know i have paused this video so many times but it is what it is sorry my friends let's wait i i really hope that i don't pause the video again i just want to show you the reality how much time it takes but i know the video will be so long and boring it's already boring i know but however um it's for educational purposes and i hope everyone is learning yes it's falling more yes okay getting ready to trigger the uh, the order and indeed yes perfect that is exactly what i wanted to place the buy order so now let's wait and see what will gonna happen again i'm telling you i have placed the buy order exactly at that previous level of the support after the breakout happened from that resistance so therefore we can expect now a continuation in the rise and the the, the gold is actually gonna continue rising all the way until it hit that resistance level however the strategy rule says that i should aim only um eight to ten pips of profit that is exactly what I'm going to do and yes the the take profit level should be set on right here exactly so we are looking for 11 pips of profit I'm totally fine with that all right so let me just set the stop loss to be almost the same just in case if the candles went quite fast against my direction 
and please pay attention let me delete this line here and I'm gonna replace it with a support zone it's easier and more clear to see the zones than the levels so as you can see my friends um, once I have opened that red right here I can expect the candle to rise or to, to be ranging inside this zone so inside this zone right here because this is the same level of the support zone we had here in the past all right so now the thread is opened all we, all we, need, to, we need to do right now is just wait for a few seconds or a minute just to see how it goes and hopefully it will hit the tech, the tech profit level very soon so allow me please now to pause the recording again and I'll be back to you to show you once it hit the tech profit I thought I have to explain something here very interesting so someone might actually be wondering because um, by looking at the history we can see that this support level has not been respected right here when we had here a resistance and as we can see here the market actually made what seems like a break out from the resistance but however when the market went down that support level has not been respected and as we can see the market went more down so someone might ask me Salah what if you have placed your buy order exactly right here and you will not get the reversal that you are seeking and as you can see that support hasn't been respected the answer is very simple um, when that resistance has been broken out from and the, and the market went down here what we can notice here that the rejection the rejection on that support level has not, was not there yet we are not yet sure that the bullish momentum is going to be strong until until we have seen these three attempts of the support after seeing these two uh, three attempts of the support level and we can see the breakout from the resistance i figured out that yes now right now the bullish momentum is strong and we can expect that support level to become right now a new support so it's like this what you can see here is a support level and the market has actually made the break out from the resistance and then after these attempts of the support what we can see here a reversed um, head and shoulders uh, the market has actually become here an, an, a support not only one time but three or actually four times so after seeing the market has actually made four attempts of a support level now after the breakout we can expect finally that support to become another support but by that time we had this resistance being broken out from we did not yet that time see these three attempts that's the reason uh, I entered right here because I was quite sure that the growth is gonna continue as I said before you need some time to understand this strategy it's not really easy as you think it looks so easy however sadly believe me believe me it's not so anyway uh, again I'm gonna pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you once I open the next trade after finishing this uh, current trade as we can see the gold is rising again and it's very close to the hit uh, to, to hit the tech profit level and it's almost there and we have made really good profits seventy dollars and yes perfect perfect it has hit in the tech profit level and we got some good profits out of this trade and the account now is above one thousand one hundred dollars now let's move to the next trade where we can expect the next reversal hmm now the thing is we need to understand how this market moves now as we can see my friends we let me just increase this one we had right here in the past a very strong major supports level level sorry so these levels cannot be simply ignored and being break out from that, uh, right away especially seeing that the pair has just recently made the break the breakout from that resistance so I have actually explained this before many times when we have a resistance trend line like this and that resistance trend line being break out from what is the next behavior usually from the market is it's, uh, it's actually going to continue the rise it's going to continue the rise until it reverse at the nearest resistance and then it's going to fall little bit more retesting the broken resistance trend line to become a new support trend line and then from that point is going to continue the rise this procedure right here is what is what we call the pull back the pull back here is actually what i'm going to trade right now and before my ability to understand how this market moves i'm going to actually place sell order on that resistance and set the take profit right here to be at the nearest resistance let's watch let's watch together how is the how the market is gonna move so what i'm going to do is actually set the level where i'm going to place the sell order it's going to be right here 
at the top of that resistance so the next movement is gonna be like this hopefully if if everything went well and nothing has moved the gold uh, unexpectedly to reverse from that resistance fall down and I'm going to place the sell order right here and then it's gonna continue the uh, fall and I'm gonna set the take profit level to be exactly right here at the nearest resistance and then uh, what is gonna happen next is that the market gonna retest the broken resistance right here and that previous resistance trend line gonna be a new support trend line and then it's gonna continue the rise now let's just uh, wait some time until I can see a, a better setup or actually this setup to be valid so let me now please pause the recording and I'm gonna uh, show you once I open the sell order once the candle hit the uh, new uh, line I have drawn here and as you can see the trade is almost there and I'm going to place the sell order right now because most likely the pair is actually gonna reverse right now and yes it's, I think it's gonna hit the red line I have drawn here however we have to waste some time let's now set the take profit level to be as I told you exactly here at the previous resistance actually as I said it's actually it actually might fall more however I just want to stick to my strategy rules and aiming between 8 to 10 pips only and then I had to set the tech profit right here now we can see the candle is rising a little bit more however notice that it's still inside the zone I have drawn here when you are trading the one minute candles you cannot really expect the market to reverse exactly at the same line you have drawn you have to wait some more time and give it uh, some space to be ranging inside the zone that's the reason on one minute candles I'm using as zones the the red line here I have drawn is only to show where I'm going to place the sell order no more so let me just set the stop loss to be right here just a little bit uh, above the entry just in case if the candle has went against me just to save the account from being uh, blown away however um, let's now waste some more time until we get some good profits out of this trade and if it if in case it failed and that is a possibility of course I'm going to show you how we can actually recover the trade quickly so let me now please pause the recording and I'll be back to you shortly to show you once I close this trade so let's check right now the trade of gold is giving us uh, also good profits almost $52 of profit and it's almost there at the take profit level and I think I'm gonna close it or it will hit, it will hit it automatically yes yes come on I'm gonna close it there is no need no point of keeping it yes we have made al almost uh, $65 profit from this trade fantastic so please look at that I'm not pretending that I know everything no way no of course but that can be seen actually from the weekly analysis <laughs> not everything went well however most of the times uh, my prediction is going good and that's one of the parts where you can actually learn uh, more about trading if you know how this market moves so it's not gonna always move as you are exp as, as you're expecting sometimes of course it's gonna fail and I'm waiting if uh, anything happened in this video and it failed I'm gonna show you how we can recover any potential losses so now what's the next setup now I don't want to push my luck so so more um, what we can see right here is let me just uh, draw this one again what we can see here is a potential resistance trend line has been also been broken out from and the market has reversed exactly at the resistance I said it's gonna reverse at and it's it maybe has fall down right here retesting the broken re key resistance level right here and then right now it's gonna continue the rise however it's not a safe entry it's not a secured entry I want to find the best entry where I can actually place the next buy order now let me just make it very simple the strong key resistance we still have is actually this one this is the only valid key resistance and the reason is key, key resistance <laughs> sorry the key support level and the reason is that support level has actually taken some more time uh, when it was a, bre uh, a resistance level and it has taken many attempts from the market to actually make the break out from that uh, previous support level and therefore the safest place to place another buy order is gonna be when the candle fall down right here retesting that broken support and that support is gonna be a respected level and it's, as, of course it's gonna be a support again so let's just wait some more time until the candles fall down if they fall down here for more uh, for uh, 13 pips more we can place another buy order 
otherwise we just have to wait to see how the market is moving and we're going good, gonna go along with it and open the next trade uh, accordingly so therefore uh, allow me please now to pause the recording and I'll be back to you shortly to show you once I open the next trade all right so just wanted to show you here that we are having here a resistance trend line and that resistance trend line has been breaking out from and after reversing from that resistance it's right now gonna become a new support trend line and I have missed placing the trade because I was talking let's wait some more time actually I, <laughs> I was planning to place the buy order here and I thought let me just ah let me just explain the trade a little bit before opening the trade uh, I don't want to open the buy order right now it's gonna be way too late uh, we're gonna miss uh, maybe 12 fips and it might reverse right now let's wait and see what will gonna happen however I just wanted to mention here about my money management I have just made approximately um almost 100 dollars or 140 dollars from the previous two trades and actually i'm going to risk them both on this coming trade so what i'm going to do increasing the lot size no i will not um the idea here is i have almost 170 dollars above the 1000 dollars and now my mentality is i want to keep the account uh, no less no less than 1000 dollars so i have 170 dollars right now to invest on the upcoming trade the point here is you always have you should have a plan always please always have a plan so decide how much money you are planning to invest in the trade and how much money you are planning to because you have to keep the losses in your mind there is always the possibility that you can lose the trade so just set a target that I'm aiming to get for example uh, $70 profit from this trade and I'm going to risk losing 50 no more than that so that's the, the that's the mentality that I personally have and of course it's only it's only up to you how to how to handle your money management I have just explained what is my mentality and what is my uh, system so it's really up to you again so anyway uh, let's actually I think we missed it yes mm. we have missed it and that previous uh, resistance trend line has already become a new support trend line so it's not really gonna be good to place ah oh, shit look at it it's rising <laughs> let's continue the rise 16 17 pips i have missed all uh, so right now what is the next trade the next trade we can expect is if the candle gonna continue the rise again above that resistance level if that resistance gonna be breaking out from then we are gonna wait for the candle to reverse exactly at that next resistance and then fall back uh, sorry uh, fall more for the pullback then I'm going to place another buy order right here sorry yeah when this support become here uh, the new the order resistance right here become a new support number one and I'm going to place buy order because as I said the bullish momentum is very strong and we want to catch that because the pair currently ranging on that strong support zone so let me just draw the zone right now just to show you so that is exactly the support zone like that exactly so let's just wait for the break for the breakout to happen man it's just killing me to see the pips I have missed here I was really ready to place the buy order right here however I missed it it's okay it's all right so look at that the breakout has happened and therefore let me just uh, see where I can place the next uh, buy order I think it's gonna be more safe let me just zoom in all right um, we need to understand the perfect support and resistance levels so let's just me uh, let's check, check them let's measure them and let's just be sure if I draw here a, sub a resistance trend line we can expect the the resist the retest to happen exactly like this yes that's perfectly fine so here is exactly what I'm going to place the buy order so what we as as we can see the breakout has already happened and let's just wait for the candle to fall more down and then I'm going to place the buy order so until then allow me please to pause the recording and I'll be back to you shortly to show you once I open the next trade and as we can see the candle has actually reached the level where I was waiting for it to reach and yes right now it's reversing exactly where I have expected look at that look at that perfect 
That's what I call a perfect, perfect entry. Look at that. The candle has reversed exactly at the line I have drawn here when this previous resistance trend line right now is becoming a new support trend line. So let me now just set the take profit level to be 9 pips exactly because as I said before, I'm aiming only between 8 to 10 pips of profit and I have set the, take prof the stop loss right here. You might notice that the stop loss is bigger than the take profit level. Uh, the reason is I said before that I'm expecting from the candle to be ranging uh, in this, in, inside the support zone. And the stop loss is there only to save my account from being, uh, m being called margin. Therefore, uh, I'm just aiming uh, 8 10 pips only and I'm not gonna set a stop loss because I'm gonna watch how the candle is moving how the candle is gonna react to that level and I can fix the trade accordingly so uh, right now the candle is still reversing or actually it's still uh, ranging there let me now please uh, pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you once I finish with this trade and as you can see the trade is going in the profit again as I told you um, I'm not really showing off here, but I just wanted to share with you what you can achieve if you really understand how this market moves and what is the reaction of the candles to the support and resistance levels, what the candles reaction when it uh, becomes a new support trend line or resistance trend line. Actually, I was about to close the trade right now in the profit and just ignore the extra two pips. However, we can see the candle um, has closed below that uh, take profit level. However, it's okay. I believe we are gonna be in profit later. And yes, as you can see, the candle is still rising. And I believe I'm gonna accept making almost $200 from this uh, video. That's enough, that's enough. It's okay, I'm fine with it. I, I think about seven or eight pips has been made. Let me just check. I think we have placed that trade right here. And we have we have made approximately seven or six point five pips, which is totally fine. So in the end, I was able to make about two hundred dollars, and I think that's enough for today. Um, maybe I'm gonna trade later tonight. Um, maybe I will open another um, two or three another scal uh, trades for scalping the gold. However, we are now about to send the signals for the premium group, and I have to uh, focus on it. Man, look at that! Oh, I wish I kept the trade running. Oh, I wish. I, I'm just really thankful because my prediction was right. And I told you that the candles are, or the bullish momentum is very strong and the candles is going to continue to rise. Uh, sadly, the gold started reversing after uh, hitting the stop loss or um, exceeding the safe zone. I think that should have been a better entry to send the uh, buy order for the weekly signal. Uh, on the on the previous resistance. I just thought honestly that the gold is gonna continue to rise immediately uh, Supported by the weakness of the US dollar and I believe today. I'm gonna post also the uh, Midweek analysis video. So anyway, we just have finished another live trading video I hope you guys have learned more about this strategy and as I said before Please be extra careful when you are using this kind of trading when you're scalping the gold and please give your time more give yourself more time to get familiar with the strategy and be aware that you might need some more time to understand how the market is moving and based on that you can actually achieve good profits using this strategy when scalping the gold so until the next video i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching